Hi there folks, I'm Alex from the Southern Ukulele Store and I'm back once again today to take another look at Carla Ukuleles. Carla Ukuleles, right up there I would say with the Fenders, Martins, Gibsons of this world. If you know a ukulele brand, you probably know Kamaka and you probably know Carla. They are the two I would say that are most well known and most ingrained in the general public's knowledge of ukuleles. Uh, they are what we call a lifestyle brand, you know, it's quite possible you would see Carla t-shirts and Carla hats and clothes and there is quite a lot of that kind of merch floating around. So what makes Carla so big? What's their reputation based on? Uh, and a bit about the, co bit about the company themselves. Uh, Carla are based in Petaluma, California, just north of San Francisco. Uh, started by Mike Upton, really cool guy with a really long history uh, working with brands like Hona before he set up his own ukulele company around, don't quote me, but 14, 15 years ago Carla started and yeah, it's just grown more and more each year. Carla were, I think along with Ohana, the first brands that we introduced at SUS and over the years their catalogue has grown to such a point that it would be impossible for me to feature every model that they do even across two or three videos because I'm going to look at 14 instruments today and that's about half of the 2020 catalogue for tenor ukuleles I know it's crazy so much choice um, but yeah we're going to look at the Chinese made um, perhaps a one Indonesian made instrument uh, today, so everything up to around the £500 price point. Uh, Carla have several tiers, but you're looking at Chinese made instruments up to around seven or eight hundred pounds, and then the Petaluma made instruments, which feel very different, they start around that kind of seven eight hundred pounds for a Koa one, and go from there. Uh, we're going to look at the KA15T first, we're going to start right at the beginning, something that's very much an introductory ukulele, something to get you started on the uke, and we're going to work our way through. Let's begin. Okay, the first ukulele we're going to look at today is the Carla KA15T. The 15 series is Carla's most popular beginner's ukulele. The 15S is, uh, according to Carla, one of the best-selling ukuleles of all time, and I can believe that. If people are looking to start out and they're looking for things that are well reviewed in books and by online teachers, the 15 series always comes up. It has a, um, an open pore mahogany laminate body, so there's no gloss on the finish, it's very simple. And the mahogany is more kind of like an agathis, nato, very, not very grained wood, but with some grain under the darker stain on the body. You have a laurel fingerboard and bridge. Laurel is a good alternative to rosewood and walnuts, a kind of more affordable option, but it does feel nice on the fingers. This doesn't feel like a cheap, cheap ukulele. You have open geared tuners with some really nice uh, kind of cowboy etching there and a 35 mil nut. Now the way Carla, I want to say cut corners, but that's harsh, it's not fair. The way that Carla can make an instrument this affordable is by looking at the tiny details and just making them a bit less, um, less deluxe and less plush. So that laurel fingerboard and bridge, you know, would be uh, considered a step down from a rosewood fingerboard and bridge. And the frets themselves, you'll notice they're more of a kind of brass finish than the nickel frets that we're used to on other models. You do get a sound hole rosette which is pretty cool, nice and subtle. And yeah, the whole thing just feels really good and sounds really good. So we're going to give it a play and see what you think. Okay, the second ukulele we're going to look at today is the Carla KATG. Now this is my favourite tenor ukulele to recommend to people who are just starting out. It's not the most affordable, you know, you're looking at probably just a touch over £100 
as I say this at the end of 2020, the price does go up and down. So I never like to quote exact prices, but you're looking at roughly between 100 and 120 pound for this. But what you get is something that feels like two or three steps up the ladder from the KA15T we looked at before. You have a mahogany laminate top back and sides and the grain pattern on this looks much more like mahogany than we see on the 15T, much more like we process mahogany to look like in our minds. You get a high gloss finish which looks good but also gives the whole thing a bit more of a pingy, brighter, more um, chirpy sound. You have white front and back binding, so white plastic binding across the body on the front and back and on this particular model the neck is glossed as well. You still have a laurel fingerboard and bridge but you'll notice already just moving up one model in the range that this has the the kind of the nickel frets that we're used to and you have closed back Carla tuners. This ukulele has a sister model the KAT which I'm not featuring in video today but the KAT is this model with a satin finish and looks very similar to the KA15T uh, it would be hard to kind of pick a favourite between those two if you were looking at both. But the KATG definitely feels like the more luxurious next level up model. So uh, the modern carlers come with strap buttons as well, which is something I should mention. Most of these ukuleles today will have strap buttons with very few exceptions. Uh, yeah, the KATG. It, it looks good. It sounds as good as you want it to at this price. I am a big fan of this model. And I think that if you are in the market for your first tenor ukulele and you don't mind investing a little bit in yourself, just a touch over £100, then this model is the one to look at. Let's give it a play, see what you think. Okay, and the next ukulele we'll look at today is the Carla K-A-T-E-M. This model has been around since the very beginning. It's a uh, an exotic mahogany laminate ukulele. It's stained a nice orange colour, but if you look at the grain pattern, it's just got some slight waviness to it. Ah, there you go, caught it on the camera. Just a really subtle kind of tiger stripe to the whole thing. And uh, it has front and black, back black plastic binding. Try saying that when you're drunk and a satin neck to go with the satin body. You still have a laurel fingerboard and bridge, which is a, nothing, to, nothing to be upset about. It feels really nice, it feels very much like walnut. And you have those closed back tuners. As with all of the other ukuleles we're gonna look at today, this has a 35 mil nut. It's very comfortable and a good alternative to somebody that doesn't want a gloss finish for their first instrument. The current price on these is around 115. It's the same kind of price that you would look to see the KATG, um, but this does fluctuate uh, every now and again. So the KATEM, let's give it a play. Okay, the next ukulele we're going to look at today is something that caused a lot of buzz this year, earlier in the year. This is the Carla Bamboo Tenor, the K-A-B-M-B-T. And the Bamboo Tenor really has blown us away. When it arrived, like most bamboo instruments, we were slightly sceptical because bamboo has been used over the years as a, a bit of a gimmick wood for people. It's kind of trying to advertise itself as being a sustainable wood. and tonally up to now i've not seen an example that really got me excited but these sound fantastic i've seen a lot of people out there say that they look like the aclot model which you can see sometimes uh, on amazon or uh, bulk selling websites um, at a fraction of the price of this but i can tell you now 
I have seen a lot of Aklot ukuleles with bent necks and lifted frets and poor quality control. And I have absolutely no hesitation to say to you now that this Carla KA BMBT really only shares the, uh, the bamboo uh, thing in common with that Aklot. It's miles, miles better. It's all solid bamboo, top, back and sides with a bamboo neck and a bamboo fingerboard and bridge. You have a new bone, um, sorry, tusk, nut and saddle, which is a synthetic material. And you have the black open geared tuners on a very cool slotted headstock. The bamboo tenor is one of the cheapest all solid wood ukuleles that you'd, you'd find in 2020. It's £135 currently. Um, even if that goes up to 180, 190 in the future, it's still a bargain. It's a really nice sounding ukulele. Not everyone's going to be into the bamboo thing, but being a more sustainable wood, it's good to see that somebody's made it into an instrument that feels uh, deluxe for its price. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very excited about this uke. Can't stop raving about them to people. It's a good ukulele, this one. This is the bamboo tenor. Let's give it a play. Okay, moving up the range now, this is the Carla K-A-S-S-E-M-T. And this ukulele is another one that was launched at the NAMM show, but we got very, very excited about when they first arrived. It has a solid spruce top with the exotic mahogany back and sides, but without that orange stain that makes it look quite um, eccentric. This is a bit more subtle. You have an ebony fingerboard and bridge with some really nice subtle abalone dots. You barely see them here, but they are there. Really nice sound hole rosette. You have that tusk, uh, new bone, nut and saddle, and a satin finish along with a satin mahogany neck. Sorry, this tag's getting in my way. And you have the open back, slightly more deluxe looking Carla tuners. There is a system model to this known as the SSEBYT, we're going to look at later, but this one is a bit more affordable, kind of around the £150 mark, and it's just a fantastic choice for somebody that wants a great finger picking instrument, something that's loud but not too um, piercing, just a, a great all rounder. Let's give it a play and see what you think. Okay, the next ukulele we're going to look at today is another
Okay, we're going to look at two new Carla models now. The one in this hand is the KA Cara Bertie, and the one in this hand is the KA Choc Bertie, otherwise known as the Caramel and the Chocolate. And what made Carla do this stroke of marketing genius? Well, look at the wood on these ukuleles. These are a laminate exotic burr wood, um, otherwise known as um, burr camphor. I can't say it. Hopefully no one mocks me in the comments section. But a, a really very nice exotic wood with lots and lots of very curly, very hot chocolate-like effects. This caramel one, the texture on it, this isn't the best example either. I just picked one of the three that we had on this first delivery and they all look uniformly very quirky and cool. Uh, you have a rosewood fingerboard and bridge on both of these models. Let's switch to the other one so people don't think I have a favourite. With um, front binding, mahogany bindings and back bindings and a mahogany rosette around the sound hole. It's one of the few Carly ukuleles to come with a gig bag included as well. Uh, these retail out uh, well under £200 with closed back tuners. And yeah, they're just super cool, super quirky. I liked these when I saw them at the NAMM show. It's a shame that it's taken 10 months to get them, but that pretty much sums up 2020, doesn't it? Anyway, let's give, I don't know, let's give the Caraba a play and just note that both of these ukuleles have the same wood, just a slightly different stain. We'll give the Caraba a play and see what you guys think. Okay folks, the next ukulele we'll look at today is the Carla K-A-S-S-E-B-Y-T. It's the sister model of the SSEMT we looked at earlier, and it's exactly the same except the back and sides are ebony. So this ukulele has a solid spruce top with some really nice uh, herringbone style binding along the top and around the rosette. You have the ebony fingerboard and bridge, which is a real I mean, that's a real bonus at this price. You don't see many ukuleles except for maybe snail ukuleles that have an ebony fingerboard and bridge and it feels hardwood. So it's, um, there's a bit more ease to when you play it than say a walnut fingerboard and bridge which absorbs quite a few frequencies. Ebony amplifies a lot of the brighter notes, a lot of the bassier notes. It's just, it's a very good reflector wood for a fingerboard and bridge. You have those open back tuners with a 35 mil nut on the new bone nut and saddle. You also, on the ebony model here, you get, I think, mahogany front and back binding. I will correct myself if it's different, but it looks like mahogany to me. And uh, yeah, satin finish with a satin neck, really nice open sounding, good finger picking ukulele, um, around the 200, 220 pound price point. Let's give this one a play and see what you folks think. Okay folks, we can take a look now at another new ukulele launched at the NAMM show. The NAMM show was 10 months ago, it may as well have been 6 years ago, the way 2020 has progressed since January. But this ukulele was launched as part of Carla's new premier exotic range. It's the only model on that range that has made it to us so far. It's the KA PX Maca T. So there's a lot to unpack from that code. Premier Exotic is the PX. Maca is because this ukulele is made of laminate maca wood. 
On the top back and sides, looks very similar to the Zeracote wood that we see on the Carla's ZCT range with uh, a, um, a chamfered edge. So you've got a soft, smooth edge for your arm to go around when you play it. It's designed for people that are out there performing or playing a lot for long periods of time. So it's comfortable with upgraded uh, GraphTech ratio tuners, which are a, fr a geared friction tuner that are extremely lightweight, much more lightweight than the planetary tuners that we've often talked about on this channel. You still have the 35 mil nut width, but the ukulele itself is just, it feels like a step up for Carla. It feels like a, a step in the right direction. I really look forward to getting the rest of these in due course. But for now, let's give the PX Makati a play. And for those of you with lung, with, with lung, for those of you at home with young kids, yes, I am thinking it too. This ukulele is just bringing back memories of In the Night Garden and Makapaka. It's the, uh, the Makapaka Tenor by Carla. Let's give it a play. Okay, and we're back. It's a, a tale as old as time. A ukulele company begins. They make a ukulele that's all solid mahogany. People go crazy, they love it, and it becomes one of the most respected and well-loved ukuleles in the range. It happened with Martin. Vintage Gibson ukuleles of mahogany are great. We all love Kawaiya's. Carla's equivalent to this is the KA SMHT. All solid mahogany, very traditional looking with a satin finish, traditional style finish. One of the few ukuleles to have tortoise shell binding on the front and back. Gives it that whole regal 1930s feel. You still have a laurel fingerboard and bridge on models as of 2020, with mahogany neck, slotted headstock, cool slotted headstock, with a very subtle Carla logo inlaid there. Open back tuners, Carla branded open back tuners on the back. And yeah, 35 mil nut with the tusk, nut and saddle. Comfortable ukulele. The smallest touch that I want to mention, just because I love this kind of thing, is the tortoise shell heel cap. Let's get out of the shot and then you can see it to match the binding. Just, it doesn't need a lot of flair and a lot of fanciness and bling, but the tiny little bits they've done make this model special. This is the SMHT, let's give it a play. Okay, this ukulele disappeared for quite a long time. Originally issued back in 2012, it was a very popular model, uh, but went away for a while and has just resurfaced here in late 2020. This is the Carla KA KTG. It's an all laminate Hawaiian koa tenor with maple bindings and high gloss finish. They have a rosewood fingerboard and bridge with a slotted headstock gold tuners really nice gold tuners actually Grover branded gold tuners rather than Carla and a satin neck uh, against the gloss body so it has more of a lived in feel to it it's still 35 mil on the nut width but this is one of the few ukuleles Carla make in Indonesia it's made in a different factory a different facility country to the rest of the ukuleles on this list today does still feel very much like a Carla though the quality control is there the only way I notice the difference that it's still made in Indonesia is that the label inside the sound hole is different on these ukuleles. It's a, a lovely choice for somebody that wants a kind of slice of a Hawaiian ukulele. They don't mind that it's a laminate, they want something that can maybe be uh, resilient to humidity and temperature changes. 
just a great uke in a price category where you've got lots of choice in solid and laminate ukuleles. I'm going to give the KA KTG a play and see what you guys think. Okay, our next ukulele today is another uke that's been around since the beginning. This is the Carla KA FMTG. The flamed maple tenor in gloss has laminate flamed maple back and sides. Really cool one, this one, actually. We try to list these ones individually on the website because they all look so different. They make an electro version of this uke with a cutaway that's just as popular as the non-electro version here. You have a solid spruce top. That high gloss finish you can see is being reflected quite quite a lot by the lights here. Uh, the laurel fingerboard and bridge with, I think, mahogany bindings. Well, let's just say wood bindings on the front and back. Give the whole thing a bit, it's a bit of class there. You have a glossed mahogany neck, whereas many of the ukuleles we've looked at today have had satin necks. So this one has a bit more of a kind of uh, sticky, makes it sound bad, but a slightly more kind of firm neck you would wear it down over time but from new the whole thing will feel slightly stiffer which some people prefer i've often preferred that on instruments and you also have the uh, closed back tuners with a really cool flame maple uh, face plate there and the carla logo the fmtg has been around forever but i only realized i hadn't made a video on it in several years yesterday so it's added to this list just because it deserves to be uh, talked about with all the other models here today. Let's give the FMTG a play. Okay, the last ukulele I'm going to look at today is part of Carla's Comfort Edge series. This is the Carla KA SPT CTG E. They make this instrument in a cutaway and non cutaway uh, variety. Uh, this one has a pickup. They do not make these ukuleles at this time without the pickups. It's solid cedar top with solid Palfero back and sides. Palfero is a very similar sounding uh, wood to rosewood. It's got that same kind of flavor about it. It's very responsive, um, very quick on the attack. You have a Palfero fingerboard and bridge. It doesn't look like it because it's so different to this, but it's a very, very dark Palfero fingerboard and bridge with the gold open back Carla tuners there as well. What makes this ukulele so regal? Well, you have that chamfered edge there with the Paduke binding. So it's, it's comfortable, but you know, it's still just very cool looking. You have front and back Paduke binding, which is that red stained binding. With a gloss mahogany neck, Paduke rosette around the sound hole. And um, yeah, that was the thing I wanted to show off. You've got this really nice Paduke strip on the bridge as well, which I think is just a really classy touch. A bit of a, must be a bit of a faff to do, but definitely worth it to give the ukulele its own unique bridge. Um, you also have Paduk binding running up the fingerboard, which enables you to see the fret dots better in the dark. This ukulele, it's it's got all of the quirky high end features you would want on a high end Carla ukulele. It just to me, when I look at all of the ukuleles we've looked at today, this ukulele just looks like it would be the most expensive, and it has the most cosmetic and aesthetic. Uh, details uh, going for it. The pickup's a handy addition as well. Let's give the SPT CTGE a play, the Comfort Edge a play, and see what you guys think.
Well, thank you for staying with us to the end there, folks. That's a lot of ukuleles to take in in one session. I hope you enjoyed it. Do you have a Carla story that you'd like to share with us in the comments? Is there a Carla ukulele that you have a particular affiliation with? Something that really just makes you warm inside and happy about the ukulele? Is there a ukulele today that you thought, yeah, do you know what? That's the one for me. Just let us know in the comments. Let's talk about it. Let's have some fun. If you have any questions about the instruments today, you can always email us at alex at ukulele.co.uk or you can call us on 01202 430820. Um, please remember I have my own channel as well. I'd love it if you subscribe. That's Ukes with Alex. Uh, you'll find a link just at the end of this video here. Uh, yeah, I'll be back next week, hopefully looking at some Miller ukuleles that are due to arrive any day now. But have a great week, stay safe, and I'll speak to you soon.